Let me present our paper about adversarial parametric pose priors. In recent years, great body models have been proposed. SMPL is one of the most popular ones. Bodies are parametrized by shape parameters, learned as PCA weights, and pose parameters in the form of joint angles. However, not all pose and shape values yield physically plausible or even realistic body meshes. So, instead of directly using SMPL pose parameters, we propose to learn a prior that restricts them to values corresponding to realistic poses. To generate plausible body shapes at inference time, we can then sample random latent vectors and fit them into a pre-trained generative model that yields a vector of plausible SMPL pose. Our model is learned by adversarial training. Random vectors assembled from a prior distribution and fed to the trainable generative model that produces synthetic SMPL poses, which are then compared to real poses from a large database. Both real and synthetic poses are fed to a discriminator model that must decide whether an input pose is real or not. Once the training is complete, the distribution of generated poses should cover the distribution of realistic ones, which we illustrate using TSNI in the upper right figure. In contrast, if we use the state-of-the-art vposer that is based on a variational autoencoder, the coverage is not as good as shown in the bottom right figure. We tried three different distributions for a latent prior, normal, uniform within a box, and uniform on a sphere. As these priors can potentially influence the distribution of output poses, we trained three separate models. In practice, we did not observe great differences in terms of coverage between these three variants of our approach. We also tested the ability of the three variants of our model to interpolate between poses. In each case, we sample pairs of points from each prior distribution. Then we follow a geodesic between the points in each sampling space and render the intermediate poses. For pairs of real meshes, we recover the corresponding latent vectors for each model and interpolate. The fixed topology of SMPL meshes lets us quantify how smooth the interpolation is. To this end, we compute step-by-step -step mean per vertex error and normalize it according to the expected average step. Hence, the error line computed along the path should be flat for a perfectly smooth interpolation, which is almost is when using a spherical prior distribution, as depicted by the blue curve. In contrast, the red curve describes the vposer behavior with very abrupt transitions. To illustrate how universal our prior is, we provide two more sets of experiments. The first is body optimization given 2D image key points. We optimize an SMPL pose with reference to its latent representation. This yields state-of-the-art results on human 36M dataset. The second is 3D pose regression from an image of the person. We take a pre-trained regressor and train an additional small MLP that maps image features produced by that regressor into our latent space and from there generate body poses using our model. Even though we use the same training data to tune the MLP as was used to train the regressor, this substantially improves performance which shows that our learned priors are beneficial. In short, we have proposed a new approach to SMPL pose modeling by describing the poses by latent vectors that can be used to generate the poses. The latent space and corresponding priors are learned by adversarial training and can be used for any pose estimation task without further tuning. We have shown that the learned prior can cover the diversity of the training distribution while also being capable of generating novel, unseen samples. Further, we have demonstrated the advantage of learning such a prior in generation, optimization and regression based frameworks, where the learned prior can be trained once and for all, then used in any downstream task without requiring to balance different losses. Please visit our GitHub for more details.